Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate finding the number of rows and number of columns in a table. So let's get started. So how to find the number of rows in a table? For that, I'll take this example page where you have a sample table. And for the table, I'm going to find out the number of rows and number of columns by writing the Selenium Python script. I'll copy this URL and open in the browser here. Once I open this application URL in the browser, I'll get this table here. So in this table, you can count. There are how many rows are there? One, two, three, four, five rows are there. How many columns? Three columns are there, right? So using Selenium Python script, I want to get five rows and three columns printed in the output console. How to do that? Simple guys, for that, again, to automate a table, we need to be good with XPath expressions. With the help of XPath expressions, we can do that, okay? Right click inspect somewhere on the page. And uh, the Google Chrome DevTools will come. Now you can either say Control F or you can say Selectors Hub here. If you don't want to depend on tools, you can go with the uh, Google Chrome DevTools. Tomorrow this may get deprecated or something. So this is the final thing that will stay with us. So, but this will save your time. If you want to save your time, you can use this. If it is not available, go for this, okay? Here you can write the XPath expressions. Here also you can write the XPath expressions. I'll prefer here writing for now in this session. So I want to first look at this table first. So this is the table. I'll create an XPath expression, double slash table. At the rate ID is equal to table one, okay? So this will locate the entire table. In the table, I want to locate the number of rows. Simply, I'll say under this table, how many rows are there? TR tag will be there for the rows. I'll simply say double slash TR, press enter, you see? The count five is coming already, right? The five rows, this will return you the number of rows. Copy this, uh, before copying this, go to this PyCharm ID and uh, here uh, clear out all the script uh, that I have written in the previous session. So here we have opened the Chrome browser, we have maximized the browser window and here we have opened this application URL where the table is available, right? On this application URL, the table is available. After going there, now I have created this XPath expression, which is returning you the number of rows. I'll copy this XPath expression. And here, I'll go to this uh, PyCharm ID. Here, write, write down driver dot find elements by dot XPath. Give the XPath expression, which is returning you that five rows. Okay. Here, just say rows is equal to. Here, find elements should be there, guys. Okay. Rows is equal to. I want to find out how many rows are there. What is the function we have in Python to find the number of rows? There's something known as len of rows. Okay, len function we have to use. If you give this rows to as a argument to this len function, this will return you the number of rows. That rows I'm going to print it out. Okay, I'm going to print it out. Run the script. Uh, after that, pitch the browser once. Driver dot pitch. Now run the script. The five should be printed in the output. The number of rows five should be printed in the output console. Okay, let it open. Okay, number five. That means how many rows are there? Five rows are there. Similarly, if I have to find the number of columns, okay, if I have to find the number of columns, here I have to update this XPath expression. So how to find the number of columns here? You have to give another, okay, another XPath expression. The table is still table is same. And under that, number of columns is equal to number of table headings, right? How many table headings are there? Three, they have the TH tags. So here I'll give double slash TH. How many? How many table headings are being written? Three. That means number of columns is three only. Copy this XPath expert expression, come back here and paste it here. Okay, it is columns now. It's not no more rows, it's columns. And again, use the same len function. Len function belongs to the list. Here, list of columns are being written. I want to find the how many columns are there. Using the len function of the list, I can find it out. Okay, the same with the number of uh, rows also. Print of len of columns, it will return you. It, it should uh, retrieve three and print in the output console. It should print three in the output console because number of columns are three. So let's see, you see number of columns. This is how guys uh, programmatically by using Selenium Python script with the help of XPath expressions, we can find out how many rows are there in the table and also how many columns are there in the table. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.